Especially to my young people. Don't, please, don't kill yourself. Don't shoot yourself in the foot by trying to express your, front, your rage and frustration and all this other stuff and then end up ruining the rest of your lives. You can't do anything, nothing. All right, and I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for coming out. And if you've never had to have the conversation with your children about setting aside your personal dig dignity and integrity and your self-respect to survive, that is called white privilege. And until you can until you can come to terms with the difference between those two things, you will not be able to solve the problems of racism, discrimination, and injustice in this country. So we ain't doing this no more. We ain't doing it no more. We are not doing this anymore. Let me say this. As president and CEO of the Southern Christian Leadership Conference, all around the world, people are asking for help. I want to let you know that in Dr. King's philosophy, he believed in peace and nonviolence. You young people right here today, you don't know what you're doing. And I want to thank my brother, Danny Steele. Danny is really the civil rights guy of the family. I was the scary one. I went in First African Baptist Church and I heard those songs. Ain't gonna let nobody turn me around, turn me around, turn me around. Ain't gonna let nobody turn me around. We gonna keep on a walking, keep on a talking, marching up the freedom land. And I looked over there and the spirit got hold of me. And I looked over there and Reverend T.Y. Roger was taking the pulpit and the folks getting excited. And I was running down the aisle and I said, Daddy, Mama said she was looking for you. But it's okay, you can stay here tonight. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that changed my life. So what am I telling you today? By your being here today, it's going to change your life. You're going to hear something. If you, and you already heard something from these great speakers prior to my coming. But the Holy Ghost, the Spirit, will get a hold of you. And in Tuscaloosa, Alabama, this little country boy, coming to lead the world in the spirit of Dr. King, I know what you can do. You can take it right here from Tuscaloosa and make a change of the whole world. And I'm asking you, will you do it? Yeah. Will you do it, Tuscaloosa? Yeah. I'm talking about black and white. I'm talking about doing what's right. Can we do it? We're going to start right here. And we're going to be peaceful. Fight up. Now, what I want to send and convey to you today is that you can change the whole world by what is taking place. You got the NAACP, you got SCLC, you got all these other members and, and, and young students from the university and high school. Look at you. That's a beautiful, beautiful sea of rainbow. Give yourselves a big round of applause. Come on, Tuscaloosa. Come on, Tuscaloosa. We gonna change the world. Feels like this stuff. It's time to clean it up. Our life 
what I like what Bill Curry said the other day. Former coach at the University of Alabama, Georgia Tech, started the football team at Georgia State. In Sunday's paper, he said, we missed the opportunity in the 60s. He said, but my Lord, we can't miss it in 2020. Give Bill Curry a big round of applause. That was Bill Curry. We got to wipe out racism in this country. Give yourself a round of applause. Some of you may remember, but in 2018, I decided to take on the challenge to run for governor. And one of the first speeches that I gave at Alabama State University was to Alabamas. And there's a quote by Winston Churchill who said, the truth is incontrovertible. Malice may attack it, ignorance may deride it, but in the end, there it is. Well, there's, there's, two, there's a truth, there are two Alabamas. And the truth is, one are for whites and one are for blacks. When you look at the economic data, when you look at the arrest data, when you look at uh, living and environmental pollution data, the data is absolutely clear that we still today, for all the gains that we made, have had two Alabamas. But let me ask you this. We have got to do more than just marching today. If we do not translate the energy that is right here, right now, into the ballot booth, we will never expand Medicaid, we will never have universal pre-K, we will never have college education, and we will never hear the voices that need to be heard even when you disagree with them if you don't begin to make that challenge to get to the ballot box. So to everyone here tonight, the murder of George Floyd has called all of us to do more, to be more, and I join you in that fight. May God bless you. May God bless the city of Tuscaloosa. Thank you very much.